Hey fun fans, welcome back to another episode of Analysis where we're going to be talking about the 5th District Manor event uh, played in Texas this past weekend. Now we're going to look at finals matches 1 and 2 played by Alliance 1 and 2 and analyzing the strategy of a 2 offensive 1 defense robot um, that was, that's commonly seen in this 2025 season. Now the reason we're talking about this is because these two alliances both use such a similar strategy and create a very very high scoring gameplay with practically zero fouls as well. Um, I think this is a perfect example of maybe what teams could start implementing as they get into the final competition stretch um, and exactly sh showcase where to start in terms of removing, removing algae and placing coral as well as sending a defense spot to slow down the opposing alliance uh, and making their lives a little bit more challenging in terms of scoring. So if we meet the alliances Alliance 1 consists of 118 Robonauts and the first pick Valor 6800 and then the Bionic Vipers 9137. Alliance 2 was 2881 Lady Cans whose first pick was Purple Haze 418 and their second pick Gallop and Gearheads. So let's see how both of these alliances use this strategy to create a very competitive game here on Finalysis. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Osh Cut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times, and instant online quotes. Osh Cut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash O-S-H-C-U-T. Just upload a 3D model or plot pattern to get started. So let's dive into Alliance uh, 1 and 2 playing each other in Finals Matchup 1. To start off with Autonomous Period, you're going to see a lot of uh, the same thing kind of happen where both teams will move in this exact orientation on opposite sides of the Coral Stations um, and start to begin filling up that top section of the reef. Um, now, I want to make this a little bit clear before we move on to the tell period. The the point of watch, breaking down this episode isn't necessarily to show how close of a score this was, um, nor to see exactly like why uh, the red chose to do this instead of just do that. But, to, but we're analyzing this video um, based on how the line strategy of a two offense one defense robot is played to slow down the other team and how it is effective so when we jump into the autonomous period i just want to make it clear that the red alliance chooses to remove all of their algae first and put and score immediately while the blue alliance will score all of their corals on the top reef first and then if convenient remove the algae and just place it on the playing field but when you look at these two robots the, ro the defense robots for both alliances they're going to do something a little bit different and what i mean by that is you see right here yeah 4251 is being a little bit cheeky and they're going to come over to the coal station on the red alliance and start playing defense likewise uh, 9137 is going to do the same and just create a roadblock standing there and blocking that coral station on the blue lines. But there is a little bit of a difference between how both robots play defense. You see, what's going to happen very soon is that the blue alliance will decide to play defense on both coral stations because they understand that the red alliance has a better offensive power ranking than the blue alliance, which means by sheer firepower and cycle time, the red alliance is always going to have that advantage. The blue uh, on the blue alliance side, what the red is going to do is stay in this corner to only create a disturbance that allows the blue alliance to focus on that top, I guess, top left corner, if you look at the video, 
um, as their main source of getting coral. The reason why um, this is kind of going to be ineffective for the blue is because they have such a high power, like, because the red has such a high offensive power uh, ranking, right? Um, Valor and Robonauts were, you know, one, two rankings at the end of the regional. Um, and so they're going to be able to cycle from wherever they want to from the field. Um, and notice how the coral difference is slowly, slowly adding up already. Uh, that's because these robots, right, in the corners are doing a different job playing defense. One on the left right here is controlling that corner and making sure no coral can be effectively placed onto the reef or collected into the robot for that section. The blue robot on this side is creating a traffic system where the, the goal is to create a very, very messy playing field to navigate through and henceforth create a smaller scoring section. Um, so no matter the score, you still see the offensive strategy I mentioned earlier. Red is going to fill up all of the sections of their reef while the blue uh, alliance is only going to fill the sections that they cleared algae in and then move on to the next section to clear the algae like right here um and so that's kind of how both alliances are playing that offensive portion um so then you know end game obviously comes along there's a huge scoring factor between the red and the blue um, and there's not much to do for the blue alliance but they do start their climb soon uh, meanwhile, you know, you do finally notice that I, well, which side of the field is more busy and which one is less busy. Um, like I said earlier, look at this side. Look how clean this entire corner is. That corner has been controlled so well by 9137, the Bionic Vipers, because they stayed stationary the entire time. Of course, you're going to want to be aware if you're in foul within like the five seconds but as long as you're moving as long as you're making yourself like navigate a little bit here and there this is such an effective um you know a defensive strategy that the red lines is playing um and the blue lines because they they wanted to create that traffic they did move around uh after getting pushed around by 6800 valor just for a little bit at the end of finals match one though you know alliance one is the winner and uh if we jump a little bit to the, the scoring section you see that wow no penalties were given to either alliance which is quite impressive such that alliance one is approaching the 200 point limit and Alliance 2 is 130, which is very, very significant. Now we're only going to be talking about Alliance uh, Finals Match 2 for a very, very brief time, um, only because uh, not very many interesting things happen, apart from 9137 actually tipping over. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll let you see that in a little bit here. The offensive uh, strategy for Autonomous does remain the same for both alliances, and it's quite interesting to watch um, because you have two robots on both sides doing the bulk of the work, while the two defense robots really just move out um, and kind of just chill for the remainder of Autonomous. Uh, this does create a little bit of disturbance because, you know, the blue alliance is obviously down in coral. Uh, while the red alliance is still up um, but because the red alliance understands that hey we played them in match one the defense bot did an excellent job controlling this corner and the blue alliance can't actually score that much we're going to uh, start dumping all the algae out we're actually just rather scoring them instead you know because they get the extra scoring bonus um, we should do that and the defense spot on blue lines can't really do anything to stop us about it because we're going to play triple offense.
I'm not going to dive into too much of triple offense, especially because uh, 9137 does actually tip over fairly soon, which is pretty funny. Um, but even though they tip over, <laughs> yeah, right there, um, the Red Alliance still outscores the Blue Alliance because it's now a 2v2. And it, holistically, the Red Alliance has a crazy high offensive power ranking so they don't actually have to rely on the defense spot or a third scoring robot to help them drive the scoring factor um, as you can see here you're moving towards like that end game it's already a 62 point game and they outscored their coral filling up nearly the entire reef uh, while the blue lines has only gone to almost the entire midsection and in the end you know red does win again clean of fouls 196 with a robot down um, and this is absolutely amazing to see so when we're talking about understanding a two offensive one defense strategy I think it's important that people understand exactly what that defense bot is supposed to do and what their job is is it to create a traffic such that you're navigating between both ends of the cool station or is it to solely like, this is solely blockade a coral section so that you're li completely limiting or even restricting access to an alliance or the opposing alliance coming in and grabbing coral if you guys have seen other different like other strategies being played that you find are effective please feel free to leave a comment down below and we'd be glad to take a look and review that as well i know some other people have been talking about a trip off and uh, strategy which i know is very effective and could lead to a lot of changes at worlds later this season but you know what follow along for more and we'll see you in the next episode of analysis Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Oshcut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times and instant online quotes. Oshcut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash OSHCUT. Just upload a 3D model or flat pattern to get started.